Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial with the Laravel 8. In this video, we will going to discuss about how to use Laravel resource controller with the API. So what is Laravel resource and how to create Laravel resource controller and what will be the route for resource controller. Okay. So basically Laravel resource provides some pre-built function. Basically, this is a blank function. You need to write your own code. But in our previous video, suppose if you go to the project directory, we have created the controller that is block controller. So here we have manually created all the methods. So here is the name get block add block. So we have already created. So if we create controller with the Laravel resource, they will get some pre-built function. Okay, so let's make a controller. So to make a controller, we need to use php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is post controller okay and to use a controller as a resource controller we need to use minus minus and after that resource okay so let's enter this so controller created successfully so now if we go to the project directory we can see the post controller is created okay so if you go to the post controller we can see there is some already created functions that is index create store basically index is for display the listing and create is for creating a new resource store for store a newly created resource okay so in this way we have for display purpose we have so and for edit purpose we have the edit and update and at the last we have the delete okay so if we create a controller as a resource controller we'll get this type of benefit okay and we'll get another benefit so if we go to the routes we can see in the routes folder we have using the api so we will use the api.php so in the api we have created the block controller get block and add block and we have separately declared all the routes so we don't need to write all the routes separately so we'll just use the resource route so how we can use this so first the common things we need to use the controllers namespace into the api so just write here use app http controllers and after that the controller name so basically controller name is the post controller and now very simply we need to use the route and after that here for api we can use api resource we can normally use the resource also so here i am writing the api resource and use the url that is post and comma the controller name and the class so if you write these things all the methods are added into the api route so how we can check this so to check all the existing routes inside your application we can use and go to the terminal so php artisan route and colon list so this command is used to display all the routes at a time okay so just to make enter so i'm zooming out so that we can make it very clear so for blog we can see the block controller add block block controller add block and for this it is post type put type so basically we have added in this but for post we can see from here so get post and all the things okay so basically we have not added these routes one by one we are using the resource so all the routes are included by default so basically this is the routes name and this is the routes url and this is the function for controller so index store update so destroy so if you go to the controller we can check so all the functions are already exist and here we can see the request type that is get post put and get delete okay 
suppose I want to call the index function how we can call this so for API we need to go to the postman so here's my postman so create a request suppose I want to use the gate method and we'll call the index so use the gate and after that 127 0 0 0 and colon 800 and API I am using API routes for API creation purpose so this is the base URL for API so after that we need to write the API and after that post okay so if you write the post it will call the index function of the post controller okay so suppose here i am returning some json data suppose here i am writing the json array suppose response and i am writing so here i am from index method okay so if you call this url so we can see the response so click on send and here we can see the response here i am from index method okay so using this request and this url will get where the function will hit so if we call the same url with the post we will get the post dot store function so it is a store function so in this way we can do this suppose if we want to create with the database how we can do this so very simple so for database we have already set up our environment so if you go to the environment we can see the laravel api tutorial and if you go to the database we can see the laravel api tutorial and for post controller we have already post stable okay so create a allocate relation so first create a model for post so to create a model we need to use php artisan make model suppose my model name is post so my model is created so if you go to the directory we can say inside the model folder will get the post model okay so post model created so now call this model from the controller so here we need to use the namespace of the model and after that the class name okay so post is included and now just very simply i am taking the result variable and i am calling the post model so basically using this post model we will get the response okay so just return the result dollar result so now if we go to the postman and can recall the url so we can see the response okay so basically we are getting the three or one two three records so here is the three records basically this is coming so now we can understand how to call api with the resource controller so next day we will going to create a full CRUD operation using the Laravel resource controller with the API okay so we will add edit delete and list so all those things so don't miss this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video so for now this is all about Laravel resource controller so when you use with API so not only api creation purpose you can use resource for any type of crude operation and you can see how we can use this very fast and very easily so if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section so for now thanks for watching this video bye bye